a lot of aspiring audio pros will quickly run out of inputs on their two-channel beginner interfaces. Now the logical conclusion is either to get a big rack unit or one of these. The Zoom H6 is marketed as a field recorder, but it can also double as an audio interface. So you can record up to six channels either onto an SD card or directly onto your door. It features a ton of flexibility and is still easy to use, which is why I absolutely love this thing. On the left side you'll find two of the XLR inputs. These are XLR quarter inch jack combos, which means they are not latched, so you can just pull the XLRs out. You've also got the SD card slot, a headphone output, volume control and the on and hold button. On the other side you'll find the other two XLRs, the selection nipple thingy, the menu button and the USB port. On the front side, I guess, you've got the connector for the capsules that are included or for any other ones. And on the opposing side, you'll find the lineout and the remote. On its bottom, you'll find the battery cover, which is pretty strong. You can't even flex it really. And the camera mount. It also has an OK out of 10 quality speaker. Generally, you will have more than three feet. I seem to have lost one. And uh, on the party side of everything, you'll have four game controls, which go a bit too lightly in my opinion. A pad control for every channel, all the record on buttons, play, pause, stop, back and forward, and the record button. The up to six available channels are good for small drum kits, small acoustic sessions, or even small orchestras. <laughs> Now when you compare the Zoom to a lot of rack interfaces, you'll find out that the Zoom is way more flexible. It just gets powered off double A's or maybe a battery bank, so you don't need wall power. You also don't even need a host device because it just runs self-contained. And also it can phantom power channels individually rather than in groups or just as one master switch for all channels. Everything about this recorder screams ready to go. Just grab a bunch of friends, Go outside and start recording. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger and endless aching. I say. But what about the preamp quality? Sure, a lot of more expensive preamps are way better than the ones inbuilt into this. But the thing is, the noise performance isn't really that relevant, because room noise and whatever your computer emits is probably way more than your preamp will ever put out. So just for giggles, we put up the zoom against a preamp that is more expensive per channel than the entire H6. We also used a dynamic microphone, which requires a ton more preamp gain in order to really emphasize those differences. As you can probably tell, there is a difference, but it's not overwhelming. It is there, but it's just not all that much. Now onto the negative. The Zoom H6 isn't all that great for reamping because you only have two outputs and you'd realistically want at least three. 
Also, if you want more than six inputs, with a traditional interface you can often expand it. The zoom is stuck at those six. And also, if you want a high Z input, you will definitely need a DI box to do that for you. Now onto a couple of nitpicks with this device. It has only got one SD card slot, which means that if the SD card fails, which trust me, they do, all your data is gone. An SD card can't be recovered like a hard drive can. Also, if you want to charge your batteries, you're going to need a charger for them. The Zoom doesn't do that, even if it's plugged in by USB. Also, if you want to use the inbuilt mixer, you're going to have a pretty bad time, as demonstrated now. Okay guys, I'm just gonna set the mixer for this track. Don't worry about it, it's not gonna take too long. I'll just go over to like, this track and I'm gonna mute it. Okay, okay, it's going, it's, it's, it's going down, it's going down further. Don't, don't wait for me, it's not gonna take that long. Yeah, okay, this track's now fucking music, that's pretty good. Nice, I'll, I'll just switch over to the other track and mute that as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going, it's going down, still going down, it's, it, it's, it's going to be down soon. Alright, that's, that's, that's pretty good. I'm going to now switch over to the other track, I want it hard pin to the right. Don't worry about it, it's going to be very quick. It's not going to take that long, is it? Oh no, it's super quick. It's the fastest mixer I've ever seen in my fucking life. Finally, file management isn't all that great, because renaming takes ages. Okay, hold on, I just need to... I just I just need to rename this product. Uh, I'm gonna switch to like a lowercase some letter. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'll I'll soon be done. I'll soon find the letter. Okay, this can't take this long. I, I, don't worry about me. Don't, don't don't wait for me. I'll be done soon. In conclusion, there are a lot of reasons to buy this as an interface or as a complement to your interface. 